Day 347. Hosea 12-14. Ephraim chases the wind and pursues the east wind all day long, he multiplies lies and violence, he makes a covenant with Assyria and sends olive oil to Egypt. The Lord also brings a charge against Judah. He will punish Jacob according to his ways and repay him according to his deeds. In the womb he grasped his brother's heel, and in his vigor he wrestled with God. Yes, he struggled with the angel and prevailed, he wept and sought his favor, he found him at Bethel and spoke with him there, the Lord is the God of hosts, the Lord is his name of renown. But you must return to your God, maintaining love and justice, and always waiting on your God. A merchant loves to defraud with dishonest scales in his hands. And Ephraim boasts, how rich I have become. I have found wealth for myself. In all my labors, they can find in me no iniquity that is sinful. But I am the Lord your God ever since the land of Egypt. I will again make you dwell in tents, as in the days of the appointed feast. I spoke through the prophets and multiplied their visions, I gave parables through the prophets. Is there iniquity in Gilead? They will surely come to nothing. Do they sacrifice bulls in Gilgal? Indeed, their altars will be heaps of stones in the furrows of the field. Jacob fled to the land of Aram and Israel worked for a wife, for a wife he tended sheep. But by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet he was preserved. Ephraim has provoked bitter anger, so his Lord will leave his blood guilt upon him and repay him for his contempt. When Ephraim spoke, there was trembling, he was exalted in Israel. But he incurred guilt through Baal, and he died. Now they sin more and more and make for themselves cast images, idols skillfully made from their silver, all of them the work of craftsmen. People say of them, they offer human sacrifice and kiss the calves. Therefore they will be like the morning mist, like the early dew that vanishes, like chaff blown from a threshing floor, like smoke through an open window. Yet I am the Lord your God ever since the land of Egypt, you know no God but me, for there is no Savior besides me. I knew you in the wilderness, in the land of drought. When they had pasture, they became satisfied, when they were satisfied, their hearts became proud, and as a result they forgot me. So like a lion I will pounce on them, like a leopard I will lurk by the path. Like a bear robbed of her cubs I will attack them, and I will tear open their chests. There I will devour them like a lion, like a wild beast would tear them apart. You are destroyed, O Israel, because you are against me, against your helper. Where is your king now to save you in all your cities, and the rulers to whom you said, Give me a king and princes? So in my anger I gave you a king, and in my wrath I took him away. The iniquity of Ephraim is bound up, his sin is stored up. Labor pains come upon him, but he is an unwise son. When the time arrives, he fails to present himself at the opening of the womb. I will ransom them from the power of Sheol, I will redeem them from death. Where, O oh death, are your plagues? Where, O oh Sheol, is your sting? Compassion is hidden from my eyes. Although he flourishes among his brothers, an east wind will come, a wind from the Lord rising up from the desert. His fountain will fail, and his spring will run dry. The wind will plunder his treasury of every precious article. Samaria will bear her guilt because she has rebelled against her God. They will fall by the sword, their little ones will be dashed to pieces, and their pregnant women ripped open. Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled by your iniquity. Bring your confessions and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all our iniquity and receive us graciously, that we may present the fruit of our lips. Assyria will not save us, nor will we ride on horses. We will never again say, Our gods. To the work of our own hands. For in you the fatherless find compassion. I will heal their apostasy, I will freely love them, for my anger has turned away from them. I will be like the dew to Israel, he will blossom like the lily and take root like the cedars of Lebanon. His shoots will sprout, and his splendor will be like the olive tree, his fragrance like the cedars of Lebanon. They will return and dwell in his shade, they will grow grain and blossom like the vine. His renown will be like the wine of Lebanon. O Ephraim, what have I to do any more with idols? It is I who answer and watch over him. I am like a flourishing cypress, your fruit comes from me. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things, whoever is discerning, let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the righteous walk in them but the rebellious stumble in them. Revelation 4 After this I looked and saw a door standing open in heaven. 
and the voice I had previously heard speak to me like a trumpet was saying, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen after these things. At once I was in the spirit, and I saw a throne standing in heaven, with someone seated on it. The one seated there looked like jasper and carnelian, and a rainbow that gleamed like an emerald encircled the throne. Surrounding the throne were twenty-four other thrones, and on these thrones sat twenty-four elders dressed in white, with golden crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, and rumblings, and peals of thunder. Before the throne burned seven torches of fire. These are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne was something like a sea of glass, as clear as crystal. In the center, around the throne, were four living creatures, covered with eyes in front and back. The first living creature was like a lion, the second like a calf, the third had a face like a man, and the fourth was like an eagle in flight. And each of the four living creatures had six wings and was covered with eyes all around and within. Day and night they never stop saying, Holy, 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 is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And whenever the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to the one seated on the throne who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall down before the one seated on the throne, and they worship him who lives forever and ever. They cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, by your will they exist and came to be.